Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix webcam keeps on turning off on Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. This is a very common problem and it is really frustrating when it keeps turning off. So in this video, we are going to fix that. Please make sure that you watch the whole video. So let's get started. So here in the start icon, just do a right click and then go to device manager. And once you're in device manager, select universal serial bus controller. Now here I'll just maximize it. Now we need to check all these bus controllers one by one and I'll tell you why. So just do a double click on the first one and just look for power management and click there. And uncheck this allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Once you do that, click on OK. Do the same for a second as well. So in all power, I don't see it here. In the third one, I don't see. In the fourth as well, I do not see it. So just make sure that you select all and check if power management is there. Just uncheck those and click on OK. So I have done that in almost four universal USB. So once this is done, close this window. This step will also fix if your camera keeps on turning off after turning on. So you just need to search camera and here once you just once you search you will find app settings. So I'll click on that app settings and I will scroll it down and here you will find repair and reset. So I would recommend to reset the camera this, so if you have issues with the camera, this will reset the camera and it will definitely help. So I just have clicked on reset and once this is done, restart the computer and see if your camera is working absolutely fine or not. And if it's not, there is one more effective step which we can do. And for that, we just need to do a right click on the start icon and go to device manager. And here we are looking for cameras and just select that just do a right click and click on update driver and select search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver is already installed not a problem just do a right click on that and click on disable device and once it is disabled just do a right click and click on enable device and restart the computer and let me know it has worked for you or not and guys if you have not hit the like and subscribe please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day